Hello guys. Welcome to Next Logics Tutorials. In this video, you will learn how to make a component. Components are one of the most powerful features of React.js. Components let you split the UI into independent, reusable pieces, and think about each piece in isolation. Let me create a React component. Create a JS file to make the React component in Components folder. We need to import React and React Dome class. If you load React from a script tag, these top level APIs are available on the React Dome global. To create the component we need to extend the React component class. React.component is an abstract base class, so it rarely makes sense to refer to React.component directly. Instead, you will typically subclass it, and define at least a render, method. Render a React element into the dome in the supplied container and return a reference to the component. I have some HTML to show the user's listing. React.js does not understand the class attribute. We need to update with class name. Every component will be registered in app.js file. Otherwise, it will not be compiled. The constructor for a React component is called before it is mounted. When implementing the constructor for a React.component subclass, you should call super method before any other statement. This dot state array will store the component data. I will store the user's JSON object. Component will mount is invoked just before mounting occurs. It is called before render. Therefore calling setState, synchronously in this method will not trigger an extra rendering. We need to install the Axios library to pass the HTTP requests. Just run npm install with the package name. Define the global Axios variable in the app.js file. Axios has get method to pass the HTTP GET request. In the previous video, I made HTTP API. This dot set state method uses to store the data to component data. React.js provides map function to mapping the object. It just like for each loop in PHP.
Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get latest uploads.